have a special admiration uh, because of his character, because of his commitment. You know, he's a tireless man because we know that this battle against poaching, one day we will win. Poachers will be defeated. There is no other way. <laughs> yeah. At least this is how I, I see colors in my mind. My name is Carlos Manuel Lopes Pereira. I'm 64 years old and I'm a veterinarian by training, a wildlife veterinarian. But for the last 10-15 uh, years, I've been involved in uh, protection and law enforcement in uh, Mozambique. I think for me there's two very important moments. Restoration of Gorongosa National Park, which I help in the beginning, others are carrying on with that, that work. And the second was to stop the, the killing of elephants in uh, Nyasa. The way I look at him is the right kind of person to follow. And he's always there uh, to give a push, and he is always there to teach a lesson. I met Dr. Pereira not long after ANAC was formally established, and it was an absolute inspiration when I met him because for the first time I was dealing with somebody that was absolutely passionate. Our face for conservation in Mozambique is Dr. Pereira. Carlos carries a huge burden every day, makes things happen, changes laws, leads translocations, goes to a place which is a four million hectare reserve in the northern part of the country, Nyasa, where they were shooting up to 100 elephants a month. And Carlos changed it last year in April, and zero elephants have been poached since. Dr. Carlos está no nível superior. Posso dizer assim? Ela está no nível superior. O, o Dr. Carlos sempre nos ajuda em termos de coragem. Coragem de trabalhar no campo, coragem de coordenar com as outras instituições. My training was not in the military or police. I was a simple wildlife veterinarian. And I have learned a lot with the, the rangers, mainly with the rangers and with other uh, colleagues that we have been in that area. I think I owe a lot to Kruger National Park on that. The amendment to the conservation uh, law was prepared within the law enforcement office. We did it in-house. And there we managed not only to increase the penalties, we are allowed now to collect information that can be presented to the relevant authorities for the investigations. Eliezes is on, on a daily basis with Vietnam, with China, with Interpol, with CIA, you know, it's, it's that kind of guy. The wildlife conservation scenario in Mozambique wouldn't be what it is, which is, you know, thriving and, and growing without cows. It wouldn't even start, it wouldn't be anywhere without cows. Conservation is now a political issue, is an issue of uh, parliamentarians, is an issue of the whole society. So he played that role. He changed. Mozambique, and we are now getting the fruits of his work. <laughs>